morning students now we are going to see the next topic in introduction to mobile ecosystem mobile information architecture so what is this mobile information architecture is all about simplification and elimination grouping content and placing them by context taking into account the uncertain connection speed and large variety of device and os features help users to easily find information and complete certain tasks these tasks could be navigation reading content paying bills signing up search etc so what is information architecture the structural design of shared information environment the combination of organizations labeling search and navigating systems within websites and intranets the art and science of shaping information product and experiences to support usability and findability an emerging discipline and community of practice focus on bringing principles of design and architecture to the digital landscape so what are the phases of information architecture or information architecture interaction design information design navigation design interface design the organization of data within an informational space that is how the user will get the information or perform task within a website or application interaction design how the user will interact with the website of application to create a more meaningful experience and accomplish her goals information design the visual layout of information or how the user will access meaning and direction given the information presented to him navigation design labels or triggers used to tell the user what something is and to establish the expectation of what they will find interface design the design of the visual paradigms used to create action or understanding characteristics of mobile information architecture keeping it simple site maps click streams wireframes prototyping different information architecture for different devices keeping simple support your defined goals identify the task that map to user goal find those needs and fill them clear and simple labels good trigger labels the words which we use to describe each link or action are crucial in mobile keep all your labels short and descriptive and never try to be clever with the words you use to evoke action site maps visual represents the relation of content to other content and providing a map for how the user will travel through the informational space so some home about us what are the products and services news and events blogs contacts means some locations product and services means what are the support confirm the path by testing content after the users have selected a path it is not always clear whether they are getting to where they need to be to reducing the risk the users time and money we want to make sure we present enough information for the user to wade through our information architecture successfully this is done by teasing content within each category that is providing at least one content item per category a constrained screen can be seen that teasing the first few items of the page provides the user with a much more intuitive interface immediately indicating what type of context the user can accept in the home what means then about us what product and services what content what are the content news and events what are the blogs means what are the? this is what site map click stream used for showing the behavior on websites displaying the order in which user travels through a site information architecture usually based on data gathered from server logs used to see the flaws in the information architecture using heat mapping or simple percentage to show where your users are going it is a useful tool for rearchitecting large websites so click streams need to be done in the beginning not at the end which maps the ideal path the user will take to perform the common task 
the home page a means whether in page a what are the local what are the detail in header what it is there in footer what is it so if you click stream it is actually a testing only in this page what are the clicks are there where that is click stream then wireframes a way to lay out information on the page referred to as information design site map show how our content is organized in our informational space wireframe show how the user will directly interact with it they also serve to separate layout from visual design defining how the user will interact with the experience prototyping experimental process where design teams implement ideas into tangible forms from paper to digital helps to capture design concepts and test on user allows the developers to build the website accurately from the beginning prototypes can be refined and validate the design so the brand can release the right product paper prototypes most basic level of prototyping taking our print outed wireframes or even drawing of our interface and putting them in front of people context prototype take a higher end device that enables you to load full screen images on it an example of context prototype for taking image loaded on to a device and testing them in a mobile context html prototype the third step is creating a lightweight semi functional static prototype using html css and javascript this is a prototype that you can actually load on a device and the product nearest experience to the final product but with a static dummy content and data it takes a little extra time but it is worth the effort different information architecture for different devices mobile wireframes can range from the very basic to the complex depending on the devices that need to be supported for a higher end devices with a large screen more interactions and button to the screen can be added the motivations goal and how users will interact with the mobile experience and the same at the low as they are on higher end devices thank you